My name is Kahari Turner. I grew up, uh, born and raised in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, in my first year in grad school at Columbia. Me being in quarantine is completely different than me being able to go, oh, I'm running out of white paint, I need to go grab some. I can't go grab any more white paint. Those places are closed. So like, if I need anything, I have to order it in advance or think about it prior to where everything is like super intuitive in the work that if something like pops up and I'm like, oh, this would be really dope if I could go make something like wood out of this. Like I can't go make anything wood out of this. I have to stick with what I got and just stick with it. Um, being by nature was like such a big part of me growing up because I used to go to this camp every summer for years, I think 2005 to 2013. And yeah, I just was going there forever. So a lot of this was me, you know, being around nature for a long period of time during the summer um, and by water all the time as well. There's, there's not much change in the fact that I'm alone in making my work, but there's a lot more change in me thinking about the possibilities of going out to like explore stuff. Yeah, I think the ideas for sure are still happening. All the meetings are still happening. All the conversations that are like super important as far as like thinking critically about what we want to do is all definitely still happening. The work is just completely different in a way that we have to acknowledge the kind of the space we're in. And so even with some of the work that we're doing now, it like reflects quarantine, even if we don't try to have it reflect quarantine. Because the thing about it is, it's not like it's just one person going through it. It's everybody. So in the same situation, even if I ask them for certain feedback, I still have to realize that maybe they're going through something as well. Like it's just not me. Like if somebody loses a family member, but also still has a studio visit like a week later, that's something to think about now. Um, and seeing my work is cool and you, you really get it better when you see it in person or in really, really high quality, but that's not always the case. Like Zoom calls are always blurry. I don't know how we have such great technology and they're just muffled images the whole time. And then I'll be on a call and then somebody be like, you're like, what just happened? Is my computer froze? Like, uh, people who are teaching paint one classes like myself are in a tough spot because teaching kids how to paint through a computer screen is just never the same. Like, usually when you're teaching a paint class, if somebody's really struggling, you can go up to their canvas, take like a brush, and either show them something like on another seat, like another piece of paper, or you can do it like directly onto their canvas if they're cool with it, and just be like, hey, you can just tap this, add a little bit here, and then boom, and then something lights up and they understand completely. If I was to try to do that over Zoom and I was like, okay, well, I see your red right there. Here goes some of my red. This is what I would do. And they're like, that, and that's how it is. And they're like, okay, I'm gonna try that. <laughs> It's, it's the disconnect is not there. Art is so intimate as it is, like, and to teach art is so intimate. So to take all of that out and you don't need, you can't even like create the same color on a screen that you would in real life. It's just been, it's been rough. Like virtual museums for artists is the worst because art is again, super intimate. So like the way you want to do that is you want to get up close to the piece. If I'm in a museum and the piece is right here, I'm like, <laughs> I'm, like, like, yeah, I'm looking at it yeah if you see a virtual piece it's on the wall it's like this and there's nothing else you can do if there's texture in it or if there's some weird material because artists are just cool like that they'll just put stuff in there that you'd be like what is that be like a bean or a barrette and you're like hmm. but I can't see that when I'm looking at it so the setup for it virtual is just not good um it it can get you to be able to know what's there, but it will never get you to experience the art in any type of capacity. Hopefully they'll start opening up museums and stuff because definitely going and seeing work is for sure a big part, but also meeting other artists because you know, shows and galleries and stuff, all that's been closed. So a big part about being an artist is looking at art um, for sure.